Okay, so if you go to your AP classroom, I shared some documents with you on there that look like this. Um, I'm not sure what it looks like on your end, but I, it says I shared them with you. Um, either way, so I'm gonna walk you through how to do this student handout, which is about determining types of approximation, okay? So up here it talks about four methods that you can use to approximate definite integrals. Uh, midpoint and trapezoid, I'm gonna give you notes on in a little bit. Uh, so, but this package is just about left and right Riemann sums. So we're gonna focus on that. Okay, um, so one thing just to notice is they don't um, have to be equal subintervals when you're doing this. So as long as you have either right endpoint or left endpoint, it technically works. Okay, so, which is kind of good because not, the exam's not gonna have a bunch of equal subintervals. So this is what this extra line is right here. I was trying to divide it in half and make it equal, but that's not what they want you to do. Um, so anyway, so you don't have to have equal subintervals. All right, so scenario one gives us this function, okay? And they want you to find the definite integral from negative two to three. So negative two to three is the green part that I did. Um, and so they want you to do two subintervals, okay? And they went ahead and told you they had five times two plus two times three, okay? So five times two and then two times three. So what they're doing is they're finding the areas of these rectangles, okay? Um, so the five times two means that this first rectangle had a height of five and it's two wide, okay? And then the two times three is that this rectangle has a height of two and is three wide, okay? So length times width. Um, so once you figure out that's the intervals they want, they want you to figure out that this would be a right Riemann sum because we're using the right endpoint, okay? Now if you look down here, we're going from zero to nine. So right here in the purple, all right, it has four subintervals. Sorry about that. Okay, so you have four subintervals, okay? And again, they don't have to be equal, okay? Um, so they're wanting you to do five, three. So again, you go up to a height of five and go three over, which is not a very good left rear on sum in my opinion because it's overestimating a lot. But anyway, we're practicing. Um, so then this one goes up to a height of two and over one. And then it's up three over two, and then up six over three. So that's where all these numbers come from. So this would be a left Riemann sum. Okay, so this page is just really trying to get you to practice identifying the length times the width to get you Riemann sums. 